Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now, a member has requested Wigglytuff, so we moved it straight to the front of the list. We have Wigglytuff here with the Fairy type Terror and the Held Item Metronome, which is a chain item. So, uh, if we use, say, if we were to use Dazzling Gleam uh, twice in a row, turn one it would be 100%, and then turn two it would be 120% as long as we used it back to back. And then, as long as we keep using them back to back, so it will, on the third turn, it will be 140%. And then so on in increments of 20% until it reaches 200. Then it will stay at that until interrupted. You can get it from the Lavincia Daily Bear Shop. Max EVs in special attack and HP. Modest nature, max IVs in everything except attack. And the ability competitive. If one of our stats are lowered, then our special attack will go up by two stages, which is very nice. Helps boost the uh, special attack process if we're against Pokemon that can do that. And then we have Draining Case. It's only 50 power, 100 accuracy. But it has a 75% drain, so 75% of the damage you deal will come back to you as health. Very good in keeping us alive, and when we get on turn 6 of our metronome, the health item will be at 100 power anyway. And then we have Nasty Plot to increase our special attack by 2 stages. Chilling Water to lower their attack, and then Calm Mind to increase our special defense, mainly because that gives us coverage against special attackers, and then Chilling Water for physical attackers. But Calm Mind also raises our special attack, which is nice, goes towards our special attack boost. So what I like to do, if we're against a special attacker, we'll use two Calm Minds and then two Nasty Plots. If we're against physical attacker, I'll just use two Chilling Waters and three Nasty Plots or something along those lines. Maybe even one Chilling Water. But uh, we have everything pretty much covered. Because in our Clef Key build, we tried Draining Kiss, but all we had access to was Calm Mind. It didn't have Nasty Plot. So it would be nice to see if it's like the difference where we do have Nasty Plot. So uh, let's just get straight into a raid. We have a, a raid here, so it's a fighting type 6 star Lapras. Interesting. It can put us to sleep, that's a bit worrying, but let's begin to see how it goes. Okay, so turn 1, we are going to use Cam Mind. The Snow has come. I can't remember what move it was. It might have been Snowscape. I can't remember its ability. But we're going to use Cam Mind regardless to increase our special attack and special defense by one stage each. Do we have any Pokemon with a safeguard for this sleeping move i'm not sure maybe i know that our bollywood does have one but our bollywood is not here so there's two calm minds to raise our special attack and special defense to plus two each now we can't take any damage really the lapras has been paralyzed by umbreon i saw the thunder wave so we're going to use a nasty plot here this will increase our special attack to plus four which is amazing and then we're going to increase it to plus six on this turn. And then we'll be ready to attack. A very fast help here. And it's a special attacker. So that's even better because we didn't have to use chilling water. It's going to use body slam. Okay, that's about 100 damage every time it uses it. We can just get straight into the draining kisses. I'm not going to bother using chilling water. It won't do that much damage at first. But the more we use it, the more damage it will do. Turn three onwards is normally when you start seeing like big uh, results. Body slam, just don't paralyze us. Okay. It did the opposite. Well, you're paralyzed as well, so how about that? I believe. Yay, we broke through. There we go. Some decent damage. When we trash alive, we'll do even more damage as well. So that's uh that was number two, I think. So we can't really go down doing this. Okay, it's used body slam again. Uh this yeah, this is our third one. Okay, we break through again. 30% chance to uh, get stuck in paralyzed that was our third move so that would have been at 140 percent you can use body slam again that's fine we pretty much can't die here okay oh no uh that was a mistake oh, do we break through stuff we break through again i meant to terrestrialize there so we could do even more damage we don't have anyone with like energy ball and shadow ball and stuff so we can't get uh, special defense shots on the lapras so that's unfortunate because the ai can actually help out a lot sometimes with uh Small moves like that that do decrease the opposition's uh, stats. Oh, it puts its um, shield up and gets rid of the paralyzed because the shield went up and then it just got poisoned straight away by Flux Effect. That's hilarious. So now we're going to terrestrialize into our fairy type and do a lot more damage. This will be our fourth. Is it our fourth or our fifth? I think it might be fifth because we are terrestrializing and we used Drain and Kiss by accident before we terrestrialize when we had terrestrialize available. So this will be at 180%, I'm pretty sure. As you can see, some great damage there. We get all our health back yet again. Even if we do get stuck in Paralyzed for a turn or two, it won't really matter. 
removes negative effects from itself, that's fine. It uses Rain Dance, completely fine with that. Mud Shot, lowering its speed, that don't think that really matters. Okay, here's another Body Slam, taking us to 400 health every time. Synchronize, oh wait, Hydration, never mind. Uh, body Slam, that's another Body Slam. Do we break through? We do. This won't break the shield, but I'm pretty sure we're at max damage now, so look at that damage, it's incredible. And we're getting all that back as health, considering that uh, the raids have like 20 times more health than us, then the health you get back is ridiculous. Nullify, okay, that's bad, but I'm going to keep attacking, because we do. We are on 200%, oh, we couldn't move, we are on 200% on our actual metronome. So I think if we keep using Draining Kiss, then we'll do good anyway. Hydro Pump is very scary though. We're stuck in Paralyze. Two turns in a row. Okay. We're going to have to heal now. We've got no choice but to heal. Belly Bolt uses Light Screen. That's amazing. And we can heal. So I'm pretty sure we can survive this. We do. We will go first as well. I'm pretty sure we're faster than... Oh, full heal. Yes, we'd love that. It's going to use Hydro Pump for sure. I just want to... I don't think when you actually heal, it gets rid of your metronome stack either. So let's see how much damage we do in here. So I just want to break the shield. Uh, so we use Draining Kiss, because if we go down, that'll be terrible. Okay, yeah, it does a decent amount of damage uh, to the shield, considering we was uh, we got all our stats nullified. It was a crit. Fair enough. So I think now we'll just probably just start using the sound moves again, just to be safe. Do we actually? He's probably just going to keep using Hydro Pump. Uh, so I'm in no danger of getting stuck in Paralyze. I'm just going to keep attacking, actually. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's enough damage to uh, end this raid. So we'll just keep using that. And we'll get back to full health every single time because it recovers so much health. Okay, let's keep going. We'll have enough moves as well. Here's another one. Still at 200%. Boom. And uh, one more attack if we're lucky and the actual Pokemon that we have do some damage. They're out of sleep at the moment. Do we have an ability that prevents us from sleeping? No, we have compared. Yeah, uh, it's unfortunate that we didn't get a Pokemon that drops our stats. But, it is what it is. One more attack will do the job. We go back up to full health. Literally can't, you can't go down. As long as uh, some shenanigans don't happen, like sink, but we avoid it. Then you literally just can't go down. There we go. We'll use another draining kiss to end the raid. And we defeat the Lapras with plenty of time remaining. Lapras is kind of an annoying Pokemon with its Rain Dance, Hydro Pump, and its Sink, and its Blizzard, which can freeze you, and its Body Slam, which can paralyze you. It's just full of problems. But let's move on to the next raid after we see if we got any Mystica or not. Did we? Mm, yeah, we did. We got two different Mystica. Amazing. See you on the second raid. Okay, looks like this time we have a six star fighting type Basque Legion. I know it has Crunch, but it probably won't use it against me. Let's just see how it goes. Let's begin. Now, the one thing I don't like about Basque Legion uh, being our opponent is how good its attack is sometimes. I'm glad we got an Intimidate user. Even though we got an Intimidate user, I might still use Chilling Water. Mold Breaker, okay. We're, yeah, we're going to use Chilling Water. Okay, Chilling Water, boom. Uh, Wave Crash, okay. That's going to do a decent amount of damage, yeah, even though it got Intimidated. That's why we needed this, uh, what's it called, Chilling Water. Drop its attack even more. There we go. We should be kind of safe now. I'm hoping it uses current. Oh, Icy Wind. That is amazing for us. It drops our speed. We're slower anyway. And competitive activates and boosts our special attack by two stages. And that means that we will use one less Nasty Plot. I forgot it had uh, Icy Wind. Amazing. Okay, Nasty Plot. Here we go. Wave Crash. That's fine now. Now that we've used Chilling Water, that's kind of fine. It did about, so it did 55, so it did 75 damage. Nasty plot here, that will increase our special attack to plus 4. I'm not sure how how soon it negates, negates uh, removing negative effects, but I'm going to use another nasty plot. Wave crash, that's that's fine. Okay, it's not doing too much damage, that. Uh, re yeah, recoil, but it's not going to do much to itself. And now we start using Draining Kiss until it removes negative effects from itself or nullifies us. Because I don't want to risk it. Look at that, straight to full health. Okay, that's great. Wave Crash, that's fine. Not going to do too much damage with them Wave Crashes. But it hurts itself in recoil, fine with that. 
I'm hoping that when it removes negative effects from itself, it's the same turn that it actually takes out Tauros, so Tauros can just come back and kind of, you know, get its attack down again. Okay, so it removes negative effects from itself. How about it's using Scary Face, making it slow? That's kind of, kind of nice, because now we can just use Chilling Water. Oh, no, never mind. Carbonite's, uh, Carbonite's being a traitor. Okay. <laughs> Not a traitor, but it, the attacks weren't working. I'm going to use Chilling Water. This will drop its attack. But it's doing a ton of damage at the minute. Uh, we're on, yeah, we're on plus six. He's on minus four speed. Okay. Uh, do we risk this? Yeah, there's, there's no way that it's faster than us, right? Okay. Yeah, I was just, like, making sure. We'll get all our health back with that attack, or we should do. Yep, back to full health from 60. Uh, amazing. It's going to use Wave Crash. Okay, it does a lot of damage, but not as much as, like, before. Honestly, this Pokemon's dangerous. Oh, well, still not getting taken out. That's a uh, big sad. Okay, it nullifies us. That's, uh, that's pretty bad, but I'm glad it did it now. Because now I can use another Chilling Water. There we go, get it on minus two attack. Doriel's went down, so now it'll go on minus three attack, so it shouldn't be doing that much damage now. Okay. Hmm. So what can we do here? So I'm going to check what it's on. It's not going to nullify us for the rest of the raid, I don't think it's on minus three attack. But now we nasty plot. Okay. It is slow as well. We are faster than it. Unless it uses scary face, then we will stay faster than it. And use wave crash. That's fine. I don't want to risk a crit. So what I'm going to do first, like, I know we're going to terrestrialize and use Draining Kiss. Now, we won't get our metronome uh, as fast, but I don't want to risk it critting and taking us out. Because if you've seen, like, all of our recent builds in multiple of them, we got taken out by a crit at really the wrong time. And this is the wrong time, so it'll probably crit us here, knowing our, knowing our look recently. So we're going to use uh, a Draining Kiss. That gets it to just below half. Okay, we go back to full health. Nice. What's it going to do? Don't remove negative effects from yourself, I beg. Wave crash, and don't put the rain up. Okay, so it's not that much damage. So I'm hoping it doesn't put the rain up here. Oh, it does put the rain up. It's not the worst in the world, because we are faster at the minute. Uh, we're going to use Nasty Plot again. There we go. So now I am on plus four. Yeah, we'll be on plus four. Wave crash. How much damage is this doing now? Okay, it's just doing another 30 damage. Let's see what we're on, because I don't know if we're on plus 4 or plus 6. We're on plus 4. But now, we're going to put Nasty Plot up. So that puts us on max special attack. And now, as long as he doesn't take us out here with a crit, then we're good. Oh, I thought he crit us then. Okay. So now we go back to full health every time, and... Oh, he's paralyzed. Definitely going first here. Now we can chill out. We're doing some decent damage. There we go. And that's not even with a boost to the amount of damage that did was lovely. Imagine if we was on a 200% boost. Two more attacks should finish this raid. Wave crash. Go and get, get crit. Get all you want. You can't win this raid. Unless he removes negative effects and nullifies the same turn. But I don't think he'll nullify again. So we take his shield. Very nice. So now his shield's gone and we get a free turn. Does he do anything fishy? And not because he's Basque Legion. Is he going to remove our Nullify? Nullify, wow. Okay, I didn't expect him to Nullify. Nullify and then Wave Crash. Oh, but he's still got the attack dropped on him. Oh, that's fine. I think we can just, uh, like, use Training Kiss. That was our second attack, so this is our third attack. Eh. I think that'll get us back up to max health, I'm not going to lie. Even though it only did a little bit, yep. Two more attacks should win the raid. I don't think I need to do anything else. The AI will help me as well. Carbonite with its drill pack. Yep, did a bit of damage there. Does this finish off because Carbonite is drill pack? Hopefully. Boom. Oh, I can see a tiny bit of red health left. Maybe not. Okay, so uh, if the AI doesn't finish it off, then I will. Intimidate. Oh, looks like one of the AI's attacked. So is it just gone? Or do we finish it here? I guess we finish it here. Boom. Draining kiss and the Basque Legion is gone. But yeah, I do like this build. <clears throat> it feels like it's very difficult for you to go down. 
And uh, Basket Legion's another difficult Pokemon with its crunch wave crash rain dance, and uh, it normally is obsessed with being faster than you. This raid it wasn't. Not sure why. Maybe it's because Calvinite had a scary face as well. We're not going to catch it. Hopefully we get a lot of Mystica. This one drops all five. Do we get some... We do. We get a sweet, a spicy, and a sour. Amazing. Was that five Mystica in two raids? Or am I... We did get two Mystica last raid, right? It was a Lapras. Yeah, we probably did. Nice. Amazing. Good day. If you want to check out the last build that we did, it was a Heatran. I'll put it on screen right now. Smash the like button if you have enjoyed this video. It does go a long way. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more builds. And I'll catch you on the next one.